When we meet Jefferson Pierce in this show, yeah. he's already had his crime fighting career and he stepped out of the costume. But what's bringing him back? I know it's family at the center of this, but there's also stuff going around in the community. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that and what fans can expect. Yeah, so he retired like nine years ago, you know, and is focused on education and has become a principal and is doing really well. But his daughters get into some trouble because of what's going on in the community. And so that kind of opens his eyes to like, wait, since you've removed yourself, things have gotten worse. So. To, re to protect his daughters, he comes back out, but also stays back out because he realizes that he's left a hole there that needs to be filled. Well, I play the youngest daughter of Black Lightning, a.k.a. Jeff Jefferson Pierce, and I am so, so, so excited because you see her develop her powers on the show. So you can see how she goes from just normal teenager getting into trouble and messing around to having to deal with this huge responsibility. Does it take place in the overall CW hero universe? No, it does not. It takes place in 2018 Freeland. It takes place in neighborhoods and communities that you hear about but don't necessarily know about. And I think that that's what's going to be exciting about it is that we have an opportunity to have Black Lightning be a hero to a community that has been hero-less in terms of, of superheroes. And that's what's going to be exciting about it. The other superheroes, they get to fight the aliens and the big sort of like fantasy ideas of what if this happened in real life. This is some real life stuff Black Lightning's having to deal with. These are the things that we look on our TV and sometimes we don't even have the energy to take that in. We don't even know how to fix that problem. It just seems so overwhelming. But no, there is a hero. Black Lightning said, I'm not, not only going to help fix that problem, but I also still want to be there as a father for my girls, a father for my children. I think as, as everyday people right now, how do I just show up for my family and go to work? Black Lightning, he's just, how do I go to work and show up for my family? But his work is saving people and dealing with some of the tough stuff. I mean, you know, he's, he's torn because it's like he wants them to be safe. He doesn't want them to go out and have the life that he had because he knows how dangerous, dangerous it is. But at the same time, they've got these powers. So it's like anything, isn't it? It's like, how do you use your power for good or evil? Like, whatever talent or gift any of us have, you know, what do we do? You know, how do we use it in the world? And I think that's the lesson that they're all, that's the balance they're always trying to strike of, you know, you're going to have these powers, do the right thing. It's going to be very tempting. Thunder and Lightning, which is the one that gives their dad uh, the biggest headaches? You're going to have to tune in to see. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lightning, because, uh, you know, if, if, if anybody's a fan of the comics, you know that, um, that Light, well, A, the Thunder's older, um, and she is in more control of her powers. Lightning, um, who has more like my, like an extreme version of my powers, um, once she starts developing, it doesn't have control over it. So it's a lot, it's really unpredictable. She's blowing circuits and, you know, so I think she's going to give me more trouble. And she's like 16, so anybody who has a 16-year-old knows that they inherently give you trouble. <laughs> the trouble that we're getting into is definitely part of what brings him out of retirement because he feels, you know, the normal need to protect us and to protect his family. And I think it's very ironic that he went into retirement because of his family, and that's also the reason why he's coming out.